Hey everyone, I'm back with another Scratch Junior tutorial. This one's gonna be a little bit longer than most, but it is a, quite a complex one. This is probably like the fifth or sixth Scratch Junior activity I do with my elementary students. So this one's gonna be a space launch, um, and you can make it very complicated. You can go all the way to Mars and land on Mars, which is what we try to do, four different backgrounds. Uh, so we're gonna start with an open field where we can launch a rocket. So we're gonna go with a farm, and then I need an astronaut, and I need a rocket ship. So rocket ship, put that right there, and we need an astronaut. All right, astronaut, where'd you go? Let's see, there you are. Okay, um, and for the astronaut, we do actually want to let the kids put their face inside the astronaut. Makes it a lot more fun. So we're going to hit the paintbrush, and then we're going to hit the camera icon and we're gonna to touch the face and that's gonna allow us to put our face in the astronaut's suit. Wow, horrible expression. You guys are all gonna to have to stare at that. Okay, so now we've got our astronaut, we've got our spaceship and we're gonna do a launch sequence here. So first thing we need to do is our astronaut is a little big. So we're gonna shrink our astronaut. So we're gonna say when we hit the green flag we are going to shrink our astronaut by, I don't know, let's try four and see what happens. That's pretty good. Um, you can make it a little smaller too. Okay, and then we're gonna bring up our grid. So when, say, when we hit the green flag, we are gonna shrink our astronaut by four, and then we're gonna make our astronaut walk over to get inside the shuttle. So we're gonna, in order to create the illusion that they're actually getting in the shuttle, we need to move our astronaut over to the right um, and see, it looks like it is 16 minus two, about 14 steps. Okay. And you can actually do a loop here if you want to make the astronaut get a little bit smaller every time it moves. Uh, so if you were to do that a little bit more advanced, you could go like this and then make this like um, three, I guess. And we'll shrink it, but the astronaut by one more each time, let's see. One, and then we need to do two more on the end, otherwise we won't get to our spaceship. Uh, let's see if that works. Oh, and then we have to make the astronaut disappear. Okay, so this is gonna make our astronaut get smaller as they walk, get in the spaceship, and disappear. Perfect, okay. So now our astronaut is inside the spaceship. Okay, now we need to do the spaceship launch sequence. So what we're going to do is use our messages command, and this is the first time I introduced messages to them. So we're going to send an orange envelope over to the rocket ship, and when the rocket ship receives the orange envelope, it's gonna start its launch sequence. So I like to do a launch sequence that's a little bit of a shake and a bounce and then a lift off. So what I'm going to do is do a little bit of a repeat loop here and we are going to do a little shake and bounce four times. And let's make our make this go faster too. So let's do um, a bounce of one and then a shake back and forth. So we're gonna go to the left uh, two and then to the right, let's see, four and then to the left, two again. Let's see what this looks like. All right, get in the ship, send it a message. A little bit too much of a shake, looks like it's gonna crash. All right, so let's change these to one, two, one, okay? And then we're gonna do our lift off. So I'm gonna do one more bounce, make the bounce a two, and then I'm going to lift it off and it's going to go from six up to 15. It's gonna go up nine. Uh, we'll do another repeat loop. Actually, let's do this so it gets a little bit smaller as it takes off. So let's do, uh, instead of nine, let's do three, and we'll do it three times, and we'll shrink it by one each time. Hopefully I'm not going too fast for you. You can do this a lot slower with your students. Uh, I just don't want you to watch a half hour video. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna in our rocket ship, disappear, our launch sequence. Perfect, okay, maybe a little bit higher. Um, maybe so we'll throw one more 
at the end here, and then we'll make the rocket ship disappear at the end. Get in there. Okay, test it out one more time. This is by far the most complex part of this whole sequence here. Awesome. All right, off goes the rocket ship. Okay, so now we're going to go over to our next world. Um, so we are going to hit our background, and we're going to create a new background. Get rid of our cat. And on this background, we are going to pick something in outer space. I like to pick the moon because that's kind of the next place you would go. And we'll hit the moon. Okay. Um, and then we're going to create a new rocket ship. And the reason why we can't use the old one is because we have to actually put our face in it. So we're gonna take that rocket ship and we are gonna hit our camera button and hit the window and put our face in the rocket ship because now we're in it. Okay, good to go. They can color the rocket ship as well if they want. And in this case, you can start the rocket ship wherever you want. Um, so I'd like to start it maybe over on the right side here and go across the sky. Um, so on this case, I'm gonna do on green flag, rotate the rocket ship to the left by four. And then we're gonna have just a repeat loop, have it go across the sky. And we'll do a repeat loop of four. We're gonna go 18, so uh, let's see. Actually, let's do a repeat loop of six, and then we'll have it move three to the left, and also get one smaller each time. So if we do this properly, it should happen. Oh, I did too many turns there. It should be three. Um, it's gonna fly across the sky. So let's change that to three. And there we go. Okay. And you know what? That was kind of a slow move. So let's actually make this all go faster. Cool. All right. So now we're on that screen. And then we're going to make our rock ship disappear at the end. Perfect. Now we're going to create another screen. And this is going to be our next outer space scene. Get rid of our cat. And this time we're gonna use the one that has the Saturn rings. And we are going to do almost exactly the same thing. We're gonna add our rocket ship. We don't need to create it again because it is still there now. So we just bring our rocket ship in. Same thing across the sky. So same exact code, green flag. And rotate to the left three. And we can literally do the same exact loop. Uh, six, move to the left three, and get smaller by one, and then disappear at the end. Am I forgetting anything? I don't think so. Okay. Oh, yeah, make it go faster. You don't have to make it go faster, but we should. Okay, so we're going to go here and faster. Okay, perfect. Now we're going to go to our last background, and this is our Mars landing. So we're going to get rid of our cat, pick our... Now here's the thing, there is no Mars background. You'll see some that look like Mars, uh, but here is how we got to those. So in order to get our Mars background, what I did is I picked the desert here, and then I repainted it. So with these scissors over here, you can remove elements. So obviously there's not going to be clouds on Mars. So we get rid of the clouds, and there's not going to be cactus or plants. So we're going to get rid of those. Um, and then kids always get confused by this because I tell them, oh, can we, uh, you know, is there a sun? And they go, no, there's no sun. And actually, yeah, you could still see the sun from Mars. So I'm going to leave that. And if they want to change the color of some other elements, they can. Um, some of the kids were actually putting in Earth way in the background or other stars. So you could do that. But for now, we're just going to leave this our Mars background. Um, and then we are going to add in our rocket ship again with our face in it. And we are gonna start it way up at the sky and we'll have it land over here. So this time we are going to start by having our ship actually get uh, 
bigger as it lands, so we actually need to shrink it to begin. So we're gonna bring it down by, let's say, six, and then we're going to do a repeat loop. Let's put a speed code in. And then we're gonna do a repeat loop, and we are gonna make it land. And we actually, let's bring the speed back to normal for this. So now we're going from 15, and we want it to land. So we'll go like threes, so we'll go 12. So we'll do three times four. And each time we do that, we're gonna have it get one bigger. Um, so, okay, let's check this out and see what it looks like. Okay. Uh, let's change our size a little bit. Let's change this to four and then that to four. So it will come back to the same size. Perfect. Um, I'm going to start it a little bit. I guess I can't start it higher. So let's, um, well, I guess that's okay. We're going to then... I like to do like a little bit of bounce at the end. So it looks like it's actually doing a real landing. So we'll do bounce. And since it's a little low, I'm gonna go up one and then bounce one. Okay, let's try that. Awesome, okay, so we've landed on Mars. And then if you want to, you can put in some text or something that says, landed or landed on Mars or whatever you'd like. Um, you can also put in audio if you'd like. You can also have your astronaut get out of the spaceship. Uh, it's kind of a little bit tricky because their head's still in the spaceship. So let's go back and we have to do one more thing to get all of this completed. And that is we need to add our change scene codes to all of these. So we need to have Oh, go back to the beginning there. So we need to go change to the moon from that scene. And now we need to do change to Saturn on that scene. And then we need to do change to Mars on this scene. Okay, so let's go back to the beginning and let's check the whole thing out. Full screen. Astronaut gets into our spaceship, disappears. Space launch. You can add sound effects in here too, like rocket effects. Flying across the moon, flying across Saturn. Landing on Mars, and there we go, landed. So this is a real fun one. Kids really love this one. And you can jazz it up uh, quite a bit, like I said, with sound effects or other sorts of chat boxes and all sorts of things. Hope you enjoyed, thanks, bye.